بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے از از دا کنٹینیوشن آف اپارچونسٹک فنگائی وی ہیو کمپلیٹیڈ ایسٹ ان وچ وی ہیو ڈن کینڈیڈا اینڈ کیپٹو کوکس دین اسپرجلس اینڈ میوکر وچ آر مولڈس and now we are dealing with minor opportunistic pathogens rather so <clears throat> in which we will complete or have a look on nemocystis penicillium sidelecheria and fusarium these are few more opportunistic fungi now first of all let's start with nemocystis it is known as pneumocystis gerevesi cause disease in immunocompromised individuals actually the opportunistics will always cause disease in immunocompromised individual if however in immunocompetent then it may be of low virulence causative organism is pneumocystis and in past it was included in the class of protozoa but now it is included under the heading of yeast and many animal harbor these this nemocystis for example rats ferrets and rabbits and this nemocystis gerevesi is human species this causing because it is it occurs in lung so it is causing these changes in the lung cavitation pneumonia carinae pneumonia carinae is animal species carinae is animal species found in rats while gerevesi is human species okay predisposing factors not only for this pneumocystis but apart from this organism you can include these predisposing factor in all opportunistics rather corticosteroid therapy transplant recipient antineoplastic therapy infection of other organ like spleen lymph node bone marrow in transplant because of the immunosuppressive medicine therefore immunosuppressive condition is there in transplant recipient we do that process now morphology it is spherical to elliptical contains 4 to 8 nuclei it is a stain with silver stain colored in blue stain and colcapular white stain now this is important for this pneumocystis because pneumocystis fungi we have done that fungi contain ergosterol in their cell membrane but here in pneumocystis it is cholesterol in the cell membrane and no ergosterol and the medicine that is amphotericin b and azole groups acts on cell membrane on ergosterol therefore ergosterol is not there 
it is replaced by cholesterol therefore amphotericin B and azol medicine azol antifungal are ineffective in the treatment of disease caused by pneumocystis pneumocystis gervaisii extracellular pathogen okay it is inhaled comes to the alveolar epithelium and then cause death by asphyxia fluid leaks into into alveoli and then produce an exudate and it is seen as honeycomb or cotton candy appearance on etching e strain slides it is extra cellular parasite we have already done and pneumocystis has biphasic life cycle with two distinct morphological type that is trophozoic that is asexual phase and cyst that is reproductive or sexual phase so life cycle composed of sexual as well as asexual phase or a stage and asexual phase is reflected by the presence of trophozoites while cyst represent the sexual phase the trophozoites which are asexual they conjugate and form cyst and this is cyst which is which represent the sexual phase now ascus lies cyst eight spore form which are released through rupture of the cyst wall in cyst eight spores are there and then it ruptures and these spores are released cyst often collapse forming crescent shape bodies visible in stained tissue this is very trophic form that is vegetative asexual form predominate in lung during infection while cyst have the major role in its propagation in the propagation of the organism okay infective is vegetative trophic form and the productive form is cyst now how to diagnose bronco alveolar lavage showing cyst lung biopsy or induced sputum these are the specimen which are used to observe the organism stain used or gimsa stain toilet in blue is blue toilet in blue stain gomori methanamine silver stain and colcoflow stain and also x-ray chest helps in diagnosis culture not done not possible serology not useful and pcr is done then actual direct fluorescent method fluorescent antibody stain that is tissue stain you can observe and this is the method by which you observe the pneumocystis by observing in fluorescence stain and by doing the these stains gimsa stain methanamine silver stain and colcoflow white stain treatment acute cases are treated with trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole combination or pentamidine isothionate prophylaxis in patient with cd4 count below 200 prophylactically this medicine can be used treating with trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole combination or pentamidine is effective 
okay these are used in profile access also in patient with cd4 less than 200 comes to penicillium magnify dimorphic means body temperature east environment temperature mold okay grows as mold produces rose colored pigment at 25 degree centigrade grows as yeast at 37 degree centigrade you have to remember this much host pamburet is the host this this is reserve reservoir of fungus present faces liver lungs and spleen etc pathology it causes systemic infection penicillium magnify causes penicillosis that is systemic infection with fever and anemia there is high incidence of penicillosis penicillosis in AIDS patient why again same immunocompromised CD4 count is very low it causes tuberculosis like disease in aged patient and particularly it is found in Southeast Asia especially in Thailand it is rare out of rainy season Papules, vesicles, central hemorrhage, and necrosis are the lesions which are all observed. And distribution of lesion is more on the upper part of the body, including face. Diagnosis by or by doing culture and then apart from culture tissue can be stained by fluorescent antibody staining method and then you can observe the organism this is culture colony of the penicillin and this is the legion in penicilliosis okay Penicillium Marn5 will produce systemic type of disease. These are legion, cutaneous legion present on face. Severe penicilliosis in, involving whole body, including lips and skin. Same patient and gym size chain showing yeast like cell. Of penicilliosis now microscopic examination bone marrow spirate you can observe the skin biopsy you can observe lymph node biopsy you can observe so bone marrow skin lymph node etc bone marrow culture sensitivity is hundred percent from skin biopsy it is 90% and blood culture sensitivity is 76% now this one is the culture and this is the microscopic feature what does it show yeast form or mold form it is mold form when you inoculate the sample at 37 degrees centigrade you will get yeast and when at 25 degrees centigrade then you will get mold so that's that is the behavior of this fungus that is dimorphism this behavior is known as dimorphism and the fungi are dimorphic fungi now one is more 
that is pseudo Elisharia Boidi. That this is hyphae. You can observe the hyphae. So it is mold. <coughs> Dematitious fungi. Okay, septate hyphae. Cunidia. Cunidia are asexual spores. Disease caused in immunocompromised patient and it is associated with some form of eumycetoma, meduromycosis and pseudoelectrosis. Eumycetoma is mycetoma caused by fungi, actinomycetoma, mycetoma caused by bacteria. That is the basic difference. So, meduromycosis is a type of eumystoma. This is this we have done in subcutaneous or deep mycosis, mystoma pedis, mystoma of the food, the most common form of mystoma, it is medura food. Soiling, draining sinuses, pus containing granules etc. And this is Cedio elisiasis and in this a variety of clinical disease due to this organism Cedio elisiria body there is bronchial colonization then pneumonitis may be keratitis and ophthalmitis endocarditis meningitis sinusitis even brain abscess can be formed cutaneous and subcutaneous infection we have already done in previous classes and then disseminated systemic infection. These all are the form of pseudo -elishiasis. the disease caused by pseudo -elishiria. Diagnosis, again, what is that? And what is the difference between this is cunidia, hyphae, okay, and this is colony. Colony on mostly we grow it on saborid agar. Now, if it is grown or incubated at 25 degree centigrade and 35 degree centigrade, both, and in both the inoculated dishes, inoculated media, you get this type of picture, then this is mold. Understand my point, because the student get confused that if we grow the fungi at 25 degrees centigrade, then it is mold and 37 degrees centigrade, it is yeast. No, it is only occurs in dimorphic fungi. If basically a fungus is yeast, either you grow at 25 or 37, it will grow as yeast. If it is mold, either you grow at 25 or 37, it will grow as mold. The dimorphic fungi are the only fungi which will grow or behave or which will behave different at different temperature only dimorphic fungi mind it please dimorphic fungi the behavior is different at different temperature if it is purely yeast no difference it mold no difference but if dimorphic then at 25 mold 37 yeast i am repeating again and again because a student makes mistake in the exam. So it must be clear now. Now, do microscopy, KOH, direct microscopy, KOH. If microscopy from culture, then lactophenol blue stain can be used. In both, what is the difference between KOH and lactophenol blue stain? The basic difference in KOH, you just observe the presence of fungus. You can appreciate the fungus, presence of fungus, but you cannot 
pinpoint the species usually. And in lactophenol cotton blue stain, you can observe the characteristic of hyphae and spores. So you can pinpoint the species also by observing the inoculated fungi under microscope with lactophenol cotton blue stain. Treatment, debridement of necrotic tissue and then antifungal drugs that are itroconazole, ketoconazole, that means azole group. Azole group act at which part? It acts on cell membrane, on ergosterol, therefore, and same B, amphotericin B. Now, fusarium. Fusarium, crescent shape. It is again mold, filamentous fungus, solani. We are talking about solani. Calamidiospores are sometimes found in soil and plant debris, septate hyphae, tends to invade blood vessel. That is important. Hyphae will invade blood vessels in fusarium. Previously, we have seen it. Blood loving fungus is mucor. Now, it again, these hyphae of Physerium solanae, they tend to invade the blood vessels and they will cause disease in neutropenic patients. Natural habitat, frequently isolated from soil and plant debris. You can observe this fungus here. Yeah, this can be observed. Disease cause disease primary, primarily in neutropenic patient. High feet tend to invade blood vessels. We have already done it. It will cause fever and skin lesion. Keratitis is the most frequent entity. And you see, outbreaks have been described associated with the use of contact lenses. You should use contact lenses with great care. It will grow on this contact lenses and it will cause keratitis, which is very. And then it can cause end ophthalmitis also. Then onychomycosis and then cutaneous and subcutaneous infection. These are the disease caused by this Fusarium solani. Then it can cause arthritis, even it can cause mycetoma, it can cause sinusitis, also disseminated infection and mortality when there is dissemination, it is rather 100%. Diagnosis, blood culture, often positive and disseminated and conidia are seen banana shaped conidia these are these are conidia of fusarium this is colony this is colony colonies of rapid growth mycelium white to cream some areas of green or bluish brown and conidiophores are long in comparison with other species microconidia abundant Strains isolated from humans do not usually produce macroconidia. Macroconidia are not, they are microconidia produced in human. It appears as rapid growing because mostly the fungi grow as slow growing organism. And the colony is cottony to woolly, flat spreading colonies, and then color of colonies may be mercy color, blue, green, beige color, different colors of colonies are there. But it is cottony and woolly. Treatment, again, liposomal amphotericin B. And if there is any predisposing condition, pre like catheter is there, which is causing the disease, then it should be removed. And thank you.